Howdy, this is Lemmy with Dorman Products here to talk to you today about our line of variable valve timing products. Now in a conventional engine, valve train lift duration and overlap specs are fixed. These figures represent a compromise over the entire speed range over which an engine is designed to operate. The ability to alter these parameters during operation, sometimes referred to colloquially as VVT technology, was a big breakthrough. Three benefits could be realized all at the same time. More power, reduced emissions, and reduced NVH. Those benefits, however, also came with increased complexity. As something becomes more complex, well, we all know that means it can break and need repair. As we learned how to make these parts, we also learned a few things about how to not make parts as well. Through sophisticated testing of OE units, we learned their performance parameters and also some of their flaws. As the rest of the aftermarket rushed to mimic us, we also found some of their shortcomings too. We performed the most rigorous testing on these components because they're high stakes, high labor items in many cases. Your engine performance is literally riding on the quality of our parts. Do you want to risk replacing a complete engine because you used a subpar quality timing component? We've seen some of the competition. We're happy to show you how ours stack up because we're very proud of the premium product we built. Let me walk you through a few pieces in our VVT parts portfolio that offer a very real quality edge anyone can see if they know what to look for. As we go, I'll show you the testing we perform and why it matters and show you some evidence that some of the other guys aren't spending the time and energy we do vetting out the quality of their parts. Now I've got a smorgasbord of parts here that fit various vehicles and perform various functions. But let's start here with our 917-250XD. This is a cam phasing unit used in a ton of vehicles powered by Ford 5.4 and 4.6 liter engines. The factory unit phases the cam using pressurized oil between the lobes of the stator, which is fixed to the timing sprocket, and the rotor, and that's fixed to the cam. Let's open up a Dorman part and a competitor and see some of the differences. The first one is pretty easy to see and understand. When you open up the Dorman box, full color, glossy directions greet you. The competitor just has a part in the box. With this open, we can see they've copied the OEM design, which puts the rotor and stator lobes in contact with one another. Carbon buildup and poor maintenance habits like delayed oil changes can accelerate wear, causing loss of oil pressure generally throughout the engine, but also specifically in the phasers where those stator and rotor clearances gradually increase over time. This can lead to erratic operation and check engine lights. Now, our patented solution for this can be seen right here, self-adjusting wipers that keep oil pressure high. The wipers are spring-loaded, so they continually adjust to maintain a constant seal contact between the stator and the rotor. Now that's not the only difference in here. Let's move to the front cover for just a sec, which is a bearing surface. Note our non-directional precision ground finish. Competition? Well, it's definitely directional. It might work okay, but it's clearly a critical surface and this seems like a bad place to pinch pennies. They must know it's important, however, because the rear plate does have a non-directional finish, just like ours. Now, while we're on this plate, I want to point out a huge difference, which is in the advanced locking mechanism. It's critically important that when the cams lock into their fully advanced position that the pin that performs the job actuate quickly. If the phaser doesn't lock up, a customer will often complain of a rattle, and a rattle deep in the drivetrain is not an easy complaint to simply brush away. We have a pretty stout spring in ours for positive action. Theirs? Well, that's a shorter spring wound of lighter gauge wire. No thanks. Also, let's look at the lock interface on the plates as well. See that ramp on ours? That helps guide the lock into place and it really helps when oil gets goopy. Theirs? Well, theirs relies on perfect alignment. That might work fine in a brand new engine that's quite clean, but in higher mileage units with wear and sludge contamination, those circumstances don't always exist. And of course, the proof of the pudding is in the eating. We tested our phaser on our custom in-house built unit and ours provides positive action at lower pressures than this competitor. We test at low pressures specifically in order to simulate a worn engine with some miles on it. As you can see from these results, we handily outperform our aftermarket competition. But that's not all. We also set up a brand spanking new OEM unit to benchmark and we blew that one out too with smooth operation and low pressure. You can see where the OEM unit begins to stutter. Ours keeps operating smoothly for years of trouble-free service. Sometimes our testing is a little bit more basic though. We check out OE equipment, of course, but we also analyze failed units from the field. We also like to keep an eye on our competition too. This 918806 oil control valve fits some pretty common GM vehicles like the Malibu and the Pala with the 2.5. 
When we found a white box competitor with a pretty good product, we were a little surprised, and then we realized why it was so good. It's our unit in the box. They had a new tin cover made up without our logo, and even attempted to grind off some of the identifying casting marks. I wouldn't really call that innovation. Maybe flattery. The ability to control the valves beyond what the camshaft and springs can do also allows the ability to simply not open valves at all for long periods of time. This is useful for vehicles with cylinder deactivation, also known as displacement on demand or active fuel management. Now in this system, oil is diverted from lifters in an overhead valve engine layout. Fuel can be cut to these cylinders, leading to improved fuel consumption numbers by effectively turning off up to half the engine in low demand situations, like cruising at a steady speed out on the highway. This lifter manifold is the unit that performs those tasks in a number of very popular General Motors V8 vehicles, like the Silverado and the Escalade. It uses electrical signals from the computer to actuate solenoids that control the hydraulic pressure to the lifters. As you can see, we have a custom-built tester that tests each of the solenoids electrically and pneumatically. As a matter of fact, we actually have several of these testers because every single lifter oil manifold we sell is tested before it's boxed and shipped. Does the other supplier do that? Judging by the failed results of this competitor unit we ordered and tested at random just for this video, the answer is a pretty obvious and resounding nope. We're confident when our units head out the door, they're gonna deliver dependable performance because we checked them and tested them to make sure. We hope this video helps you identify quality in an aftermarket VVT solution when you see it and to know what to avoid. And remember, if you need anything at all, the Dorman Technical Support Team is always handy to help. Thanks for checking out our video on our VVT components. I'm Lem, and I'm out of here.